Welcome to the conference call. I'm your host, Ali Long, and today we have Shaq Moore from Tenerife. Let's get into it. So you started at the IMG Academy. Yeah, I was You're- at the, actually with the residency with the U17s, but yeah, keep going. I think. <laughs> no, no, no. Explain. Tell me everything. So, so yeah, I was with the, I was with the U17s and um, I was went there, you know, with the U17s, like the two-year process. And, um, mm-hmm. and then after I was in FC Dallas for a bit with the youth team and then when I was 17 going on 18 that's when I when I went decided to come here to Spain to play so and then from there I went forward sorry go on no and then yeah from there just you know trying to you know find my way you know bounce around a bit but finally find a home here in in Tenerife so what at what age did you first go from because you're from Dallas right I'm from I'm I'm actually so I'm I'm from Fort Lauderdale Miami oh okay I was born awesome I was born there born there lived there until i was 10 and then i moved to atlanta right now with the okay. family so the family lives there and then so now Back i'm staying right. so at what age did you go from img to like first time you're overseas that was your first experience living there so probably about 17 i would say 17 going on 18 because obviously you can't sign until you know until you're 18 right. and stuff so so i was wow. there I, I turned i turned 18 in november of that year so i was i got there like August around there and just training for the first couple months before I actually, you know, sign the contract. So I don't think people understand like when you're younger and you're a kid and someone looks up to you and they're like, oh, I want to go play overseas. Like, you know, that's the dream. But to actually go through that, is that difficult for you? Was it hard for you? Like mentally, were you like missing home? But like, you know, it's such a great opportunity or were you like excited? You're totally chill about it. So if I'm honest, <laughs> it was something that I really wanted to do. But at the same time, like when I got there, it was kind of like t- terrifying a bit, you know, because of course, obviously, obviously it's a different, different country, different language, different food. I think the most difficult thing was probably the language, you yeah. know, because, you know, you can't, you can't really communicate. You can't really, you know, there's a lot, a lot of times I didn't play games because not because I wasn't good enough, but just because I just yeah. didn't know what was going on, you know, so. <laughs> Excuse so, me, coach. Um, uh, <laughs> exactly, yeah, excuse me. Uh, would I have to be on the corner again? <laughs> you know, so, but, um, but yeah, it was definitely a dream come true. Though. I knew that once, as long as I was playing soccer, I think I knew I was going to be, I was going to be fine, you know? I want to kind of touch on the U.S. men's actual team. So, mm-hmm. um, you got called in, you got, you got some caps for them. I remember watching. Good job. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Um, you're welcome. Is that always a dream for you in the back of your mind? Um, like, has your focus been, you know, find a home, find a good club, stabilize that, and then U.S. US not women's national team, you can play for us, but the men's <laughs> national team, um, was that always like a dream of yours or a goal in the back of your mind? Yeah, for sure. It's always been a goal to, you know, play for the national team. Obviously, at the, at the highest level, you know, it's been a while since I've, you know, been in the team with the team but but um you know how it is you know how you go through ups and downs you know highs yeah. and lows you know so so yeah right now i'm just you know i'm just trying to find you know what find a spot to, to play and kind of play regularly and you know just kind of get my get my name back out there and just kind of you know do my thing so but um but yeah definitely excited you know hopefully hopefully the opportunity comes soon especially you know with the nice group of uh, players that we have coming in through right now so for so, sure yeah, let's i see, think let's that see. Yeah, I've always like respected Greg's style of play and like the identity he had with Columbus. And then moving on, I'm excited to see what um, you guys can do on, or he can do, and all of you can do for the the men's side. How do you see the team's direction kind of like flowing into that? Do you think we're ready? Well, yeah, yeah, for sure. I definitely think we're ready. I think you I know that. we just need to we need to you know bond bond as a team, and I would say kind of just focus on more on just kind of getting the job done. You know, no, no, however it takes, especially, you know, obviously not qualifying for the, you know, for the World Cup was a big, you know, downfall. But um, I think, yeah, we, we just need to get get together as a team and get results when, when we need to, you know. Sometimes yeah. it might not be pretty. Sometimes it might not be pretty, but, you know, the most important is getting results and um, doing well as a team and, you know, taking us as far as we can go. Okay, so for Tenerife, what position do you play? I play right back for Tenerife and sometimes right mid, so. Up nice. and down. How about okay. what do you play? What position do you play? I play Sergio Busquets. 
Just huh? si- number oh, okay. six. <laughs> number six. Number six. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm not comparing myself. That's just, <laughs> that's no, where I play. Like. <laughs> I sit back. That's some big, big just, shoes to fill. <laughs> yeah, way too big. First of all, what's the hardest team in La Liga that you have competed against? And, who, Probably, and then who's well, the hardest Barcelona. player you've competed against? Barcelona, Barcelona, for sure. Barcelona and obviously Messi. Uh, yeah. yeah, that was that was crazy. I remember what a, we how played cool them. is that? <laughs> it was crazy because so I was with Levante at the time and I wasn't even supposed to play that week. You know, you know, you're a young player kind of between the A team and the B team. You know, yeah. the first team and the second team. And like two days before we go to travel to go to Barcelona, like our captain who was who was playing right back too, he actually gets hurt. You know, and he and he, he yeah. can't go. So I'm like. So I'm, like, time, wow, baby. Might- <laughs> I'm like, wow, I actually, might- I'm actually might have the chance to play, you know, so, but I got lucky because coach kind of told me, you know, you know, kind of just be ready two days before. So I had a lot of time to just get, you know, all the nerves out, you know, and all that. And then um, obviously playing against Barcelona and in the Camp Nou was, was obviously, you know, incredible, you know, playing against the top level guys, especially where I come from, you know, people, you know, where I come from is kind of. It's it's so it was a big thing. So hopefully one day I can you know get back to playing playing at that level. That's awesome. Um, mm-hmm. <laughs> how do you mark Messi? It's difficult. It's very difficult. You literally have to be like switched on like the whole time. The one time you kind of decide, all right, Lose maybe focus. you want to do yeah. that That's when he like filters a pass into Jordi Alba <laughs> or he takes a shot or or you know. But I would say just, I don't know, just making it as difficult as possible. You know, whether that's, you know, making contact with them, you know, tying him out. I would say yeah. make him work on defense, but he doesn't really, he doesn't really work on defense. Just kind of, <laughs> you know, shadow, shadow plays, you know, but yeah, but um, but yeah, it's definitely, if you, if you play against Messi, you got to make sure you get a good night's nice sleep before. For sure. <laughs> that's so <laughs> cool. Huh. Huh. Welcome to Forever, man. Let's go. What is your favorite <laughs> city in the u.s and in spain so my favorite city in the u.s is probably probably for larger miami back home where i'm from in spain i have to say valencia valencia for sure that's where who is your best mate on your team right now tenerife samu shashua he's from he's from london so oh. so we have a similar culture obviously you know england and u.s is you know similar we speak english as well too so we get on good, and then there's one Serbian Serbian guy named Nicola. What is your favorite Spanish meal since you've been over there for so long? In Valencia, there was paella. I don't know if you have you heard of paella. Yeah, of course I have. I love paella. So, so Valencia, Valencia is like the it's supposed to be like the best place where you can get it in all of Spain, you know. And then here in Tenerife, there's this one place called it's like one food called Huachinche. Mm-hmm. and that that's that's really really good. Too, so. <laughs> is there any advice you would kind of you know? give to any kid that like wants to go overseas at a young age and kind of just mm-hmm. do what you're doing what would be your advice oh uh, i would definitely say if it's the right situation you should definitely go for it you know i wouldn't say go to just any situation because i've heard some some horror stories where you know they go to some yeah. places and they, and they just get completely left out they're lonely you know no one really you know, helps them, you know, I would say if it's the right situation, definitely go for it and go brave, you know, be mentally tough, you knowing that obviously it's going to be hard, you know, you're not going to be with your friends, your family, you know, when it's good, it's going to be good. But, you know, when you have a tough game and you have to go home alone, no you know, in your apartment, <laughs> exactly. That's, that's, that's the tough part. So I would say, you know, just be mentally tough and, um, but yeah, go for it for sure. Because the only thing, the worst thing they can do is, you know, say no, basically. So. I would say go for it, try your luck, and you never know where you can end up, you know? Well, thank you so much for your time and just, like, talking with me and good luck with everything. Um, I'm excited to watch you on the men's national team. Oh, thank you. Thank you for having me, and good luck to you of as course. well and your, and your new team, and um, all the best for you and, uh, and the women's team as well. 